Good morning and welcome to my channel. I am Mark the Clueless Luthier again. Today we're going to start by working on thicknessing the top. Then we will move on with the bracing. I'm, I want to use my last guitar in this instance as an example of education. And the first Last time, I thicknessed the entire top, and I was very happy with it. But in really looking at my guitar closely, I saw a problem. And I'm going to make an adjustment on that. So let me change the camera angle, and I'll hopefully I can show you what I'm talking about. Okay, I'm a little concerned this may not show up well. I'll try to zoom in a little bit more in editing. What I noticed was right here, the, there was a gap. This was a little bit higher than the body. And at first I thought, well, maybe it didn't seat totally, totally. But when I look back on the back, this actually sticks out a little bit longer. So I started thinking about it when they send out this kit, they don't really expect you to thickness the top and the back. But I chose to. I think what happened is I took, uh, I took wood off the entire top and back. That created a gap here. I can actually at one point actually see through this. So I am going to change, I am not going to focus at all on the thickness of the upper bout because frankly, it doesn't do anything sonically um, to speak of. All, most of the sound comes from the lower bout where the bridge is and it's more open. I mean, this actually has a block underneath it here, so does that. So that is the change I'm going to make because I I think when I do, I'll have a better fit where the fretboard meets the body. So this time, fortunately, I have this to use, um, a thickness and gauge. And notice I have this turned out so I won't damage my top as I did last time. And I'm gonna take some number, a few numbers on the thickness. Actually, yeah, I'm going to do it on the back. I'm just, because I'm, I did a diagram over here. It's probably out of the picture, but that's what I want to use as starting. So this is starting at 0.31 millimeters. Down this way, in the middle, more like the bridge, you know, about the bridge area. And it's closer to 3.2. And the same here, it drops off along the edge. Okay, so now I have my starting points written down. Put this out of the way. This, I think I'm going to start with this. I, I like the fact it's nice and straight, and um, if there's any dips, I can start taking them out a little bit faster than scraping. Um, when I get close, I think I'm going to be scraping to smooth it out a bit because this this is a little coarse. So uh, let's see how this goes. I'm not putting much pressure. On it. I'm letting it do this work. Yeah, it's gonna take a while. Okay, 
did a little experimentation. I used this for a little bit to see how much wood I was pulling off. Then I turned this around so I brace it here. I have my scraper. And then I tried it in my scraper. And what I noticed is that this seems to be pulling the wood off faster, at least looking at what's coming off, than the sandpaper was. So I am going to try this and see how it how it differs. scrape the top too. I wanted to make sure it was all smooth and flat and I did notice on the base side of the bout it was rougher and as I scraped it stayed so it's obviously it got just a little bit of a dip in it. So I want to make sure that while I'm doing that I uh, take care of this a little bit too. Okay, uh, I'm not totally done. Uh, we have guests coming this, for the day and the evening, tonight. And so I have to clean up. But I want to talk about what I did a little bit. I had this one area here, and frankly, there's a little bit on this side that was low. And it was rough, so as I'm scraping, it's just not coming off or it's not smoothing out. So I'm really glad I did the scraping on the front. And from now on, I'm gonna start with it because this is the part you're gonna see. It's better, I believe, to do it while you still have plenty of wood to work with, um, as opposed to getting it thin coming on the other side saying, oh, I have to take more wood off. So um, I will uh, come back when I have finished this because I'm not, you know, I'm, once I get this smooth, I'm gonna go to the back and do the same thing. Keep taking it down till I have it to the thickness I want. So, um, yeah. All right. I have finished thicknessing um, the top. Um, one thing I wanted to talk about real quick. Um, I used a combination of the scraper, that large sander, and also smaller because I still would find some variations in the thickness. Um, with this and then what I did when I was all done I took a picture of it put it in a software package and turned it to black and white and <clears throat> I wish I had done this well I would have had to do it after the bracing because I didn't have this I wish I'd done with the last guitar anyway, but what I did is I wrote, hopefully this will show up okay, I took measurements at various points, so, and I'm going to scan this in the computer and save it uh, under this guitar, so that when I'm all done, I can look back at this and say, see, you know, how does this sound, and what did I do last time, so, um, I always like doing this. I don't know how it will show up, come out, but especially with the air conditioner running. But I'm going to try it anyway. So. So, the next thing I'm going to do is line out for the braces. Um, this is my top um, template. And I will I'll put a link in the description of how I made these on the last guitar. There's no sense in doing it twice. But I based it off of the original design. So now what I'm going to do is readjust the camera so you can see exactly what I'm going to do. Now, first thing I did, 
I made a mark at either, either end on the very center line here, which is extremely important. And I drilled holes at the center line on the template to make sure I map, match those up. I then want to get as much as possible evenly around this. One thing I noticed is, at least in the design, <clears throat> there should be about an eighth inch or so um, surrounding it, but there are a couple points here, here, and here at the bouts that are really tight. So I'm not, I don't have a whole lot of excess to work with. Certainly less than the, uh, the last one I had. So I have to make sure this doesn't move. And then what I'm gonna do is all of these points, I'm gonna mark. Make sure this is kind of long enough. Okay, I think that's it. I just realized I gotta fix that line. I didn't draw it correctly. <clears throat> now the trick is to get these all in a line. Keep this out so I can use it as a, a guide here. First thing I have to do is locate the X braces. And these will have to be notched together. The last guitar I had, this was totally square. And I kind of liked that. Mostly because when I do this locking together, I wanted to um, lock them in my way. I don't know. We're going to see how this goes and see. Because I would kind of like to have a nice flat top here, but I may make one. We'll see. So I've got this one. I already marked this one. And I have to decide one of them is going to have to be notched down. Doesn't matter which, I guess. So we're going to do. We'll put this one on top. So this is going to be cut on this out. At some point. And this is going to be the opposite. This is going to be the top notched out. This really was easier when they were square. figure this out. Okay, I decided that to go a quarter inch up from the bottom, it looked, it looked like the most reasonable distance. Um, so this one I'm going to notch the bottom of. I'll try to go inside that line a little bit. So I really want a nice tight joint. goes the other way. Let's do this. Okay. All right. Now I'll take my chisel. Try to leave this a little proud, or uh, proud, 
little less than I the line. Expect that these will fit together yet. Okay, this is this way. I did mark them so I can <laughs> backwards. Mark them so I can remember which is the base and which is the trouble side. And uh, okay, that is tight right there. perfect I do believe that's a little pressure yep all right and that still lines up quite nicely awesome all right now I have to figure out and I didn't line that out the bridges all the um, braces and the bridge have to be tucked in. So let's mark this out. Then transfer all these marks to the X brace. So I can notch in. I'm going to do 45s again the way they recommend. I'm not going to go for the full tuck under, I guess. And that looks good. don't tuck in. So, I think I got them all marked now. Alright, now I'm going to start filing. This might be a little awkward. I, I made marks to I know which direction they're coming into. Most of them are square and it's not a big deal, but um, the bridge brace does go on an angle. So I can go notches in and uh, ready to glue up um, get this set and it's going to sit just like that I've staged I've got a dry run I've got my um, pro bars all staged make sure this is all tight and uh, get this glued up
Okay, I'm going to let this sit for a while. Actually, I'm going to watch it for a little while, make sure these don't pop off. And uh, then we'll uh, start working on the other braces. All right, I let this set up, well, actually overnight. And uh, while it was, I had it clamped up, I decided after I knew it was pretty stable to go ahead and put the back brace on as well. Um, it would make it easier to finish the rest of it. Um, I also like finished the ends of the braces where they are going to insert tuck under, I should say, in a better word, um, the cross brace. I cut and shaped the sound bowl braces so that I can now, um, oh, and also the bridge plate. So I can now uh, go ahead and get these glued in. All right, I obviously have to invest in some more go bars because I can't do the rest of this with the quantity I have, but that's okay. Um, we'll just get started here. the um, braces glued on now and one thing I thought I'd talk about on my last guitar I think I mentioned already but this brace the X braces had not been formed <clears throat> it gave me the opportunity to put a, a wooden calf across here and uh, I'm not going to be able to this time because this is already pre-pointed or curved. I would have to take it way down in order, I think, for it to grab. And so I guess I'm going to have to settle with um, the standard way of tying it together with cheesecloth and glue. But other than that, it's... Uh, it's ready for me to start shaping the braces. I'm gonna wait for this at the, uh, till the end in case I decide to do some shaping there. But uh, for now, it's time to start bringing these, uh, these braces down to size. cross braces down to about one millimeter I'm pretty much there on this one so uh, now I'll continue with the others okay um, I have the X bracing down certainly on the ends um, one millimeter that's fine I've taken them down elsewhere too I'm gonna hold off on doing any more and at the moment um, I did want to point out one thing I did. I decided I do want to put a cross piece there and there's plenty of height. So I have flattened this out. And when I'm done here, what I'm going to do is I'm going to glue this piece of wood on top of it to tie it all together. But for now, I am going to start working on thinning out these braces and bringing them down. I think I have these done pretty much where I want them. Um, now I'm going to bring the transverse down. And to be honest, I'm going to take most of them off. It's, they're really, I think they're for splitting mostly. And um, I think they're a little overdone. So that's next. Now 
okay? The last thing I have to do is I also have to bring this down to um, one millimeter at the edges and just follow the contour. So I started on that. Okay, before I can finish sanding and cleaning all this up, I'm going to put this cap on, glue it up because I'm going to want to shape, shape that down as well. I'm going to got a, a height on it that I can use. Um, I've got a mess. Okay, so I'm going to do in place a second. I figured the best way I could come up with for this probably actually these two clamps. that set up for a while and uh, then we'll uh, take that down as well all right so this is glued on now I'm just going to kick this down carefully here just so there's enough to hold it in place pretty good. I, I even put some glue in the cracks here. I'm not sure how, what that'll do. The next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take a picture of this just like I did before and take measurements of all the braces and put them on that picture so I know next time exactly what I did and I can compare it uh, for the next build. Well, top's all ready. Um, I've also written down all my measurements, so I'll scan that into the computer so that I have it for later. And uh, thanks for sticking around. I think this is probably a longer than normal uh, video so far. Um, I'll make up for it later, because I think the next one's gonna be shorter than normal. Uh, next we're going, as long as I have the stuff ready, I'm gonna go ahead and do the back. So um, I'll see you soon.